Hello Ratbags, it's Jade with a special little mini Rust video. Guys, you are really desperate for information about when Rust is coming to Xbox and PlayStation. Me too, it's pretty much on my daily hit list. How are we gonna get a release date today? I look it up 20 times a day and I'm pretty much stalking Gary Newman, the creator of Rust. Simple facts are we have no confirmed release dates, but Gary spoke today and it does confirm that Rust won't be coming in the early part of this year. Also, Gary Newman is an absolute savage. Do not get on the wrong side of him. So let's go through some of these tweets and work out kind of roughly when Rust could appear. So Gary Newman's pretty, pretty active on Twitter and at various times he's spoken to the community about when you can expect a release date. We know he got highlighted on the Xbox X games preview event and we also know obviously it got trailers shown off on the PlayStation 4. Gary Newman did actually reply all of a sudden, must have had a whiskey or something this morning, to just a random question from this guy, Jake Wilding. Big shout out to Mysterious Skills. Hey man, can us console players get an update on Rust coming to console? Like what quarter of the year? And Gary Newman said probably not, but I can tell you it won't be the first half of the year. So that's not too surprising. I'd kind of hoped it would come the early part this year, but since they didn't give any indications of any release dates, they've not done any interviews with any gaming media outlets, it'd be a bit of a long shot for them to say it's coming out in the next few months. And considering the trailer was made out of all PC game footage rather than console, yeah, end of the year is looking more likely, or at least late summer. Now, it's getting becoming a well-known fact that so many games are being delayed because they're probably trying to cash in on being on the next platforms as well. Xbox X and the PlayStation 5, then rumored to be coming out in October onwards. So any games that have been slated for release early part of this year have been pushed back to around then or close to it to take advantage of that fact and try and sell it on them platforms too. Is Rust about to do that? I'm not too sure. My gut feeling is that Rust will come out in the late summertime. So that's when we're gonna get the window release date for Rust, July onwards, guys. Now I know that's a bit vague, but that's all we've got to go on at the moment. As ever, the minute we get any new news, I'll be the first person to let you guys know. But that is the closest thing we've got to a confirmed official release date as of right now. Now it does give us plenty of time for you to sit back and start looking at my learner's guide to Rust. I've watched a hell of a lot of Rust. I've enjoyed a hell of a lot of it too over the years. And you know what? I have no clue how to play the game. I've jumped in a live stream a bunch of times, had some fun, run around, got shot a billion times, and I even managed to build myself a little base once. But I have absolutely no idea about oil rigs. I don't know what the enemies are. I have no idea where the scientists live. I have no idea where points of interest are. The kind of videos I've watched are often really curated PVP little mini stories. Rust has been out so long that some of the beginner guides, they're pretty old or they just don't necessarily work with what's currently in Rust right now. So that's what I'm going to be focused on in the next few months. Maybe not right now, but maybe in the next month or two, you will start seeing a lot more Rust content on my channel and it is going to be just about learning how to play Rust. I've got a Rust server up and running right now on PC and it's literally just there for me to get a bit of practice on. So yeah, there we go. It's one bit of news, but I think it's pretty crucial and it hopefully does dictate that we're gonna see Rust eventually, but in the second part of the year. Who knows if there's any changes, adjustments, maybe they're ahead of development, maybe that will come a little bit sooner, but I doubt it very much. If anything, we could see even more of a delay and it might end up being like the end of the year. As you just saw from that footage, I don't even know how to pilot one of them gyrocopters, but it's something I want to learn. So I'm going to be there. I'm going to show you guys how to play Rust. You can watch me fail, watch, learn from my mistakes, and hopefully we'll learn a lot together when I have my servers running. I'll be having servers running on all platforms, Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. And like I said, if you want to join PC at the moment, you can come and join my Discord server and get the details for it there. It is open to public. Just go ahead and you'll look it up once you get to Discord. Now it is the year of the rat and I'm definitely wanting to get hold of this rat mask before I go. Anywho, let's pad the rest of this video out. Did I tell you the time that DayZ and Rust really, really were best of frenemies? If you don't know, Rust is actually a direct clone of DayZ. Believe it or not, that's what Gary Newman and his pals set out to do when they created Rust. They saw the popularity of DayZ in the modding and they decided they wanted to have a slice of that pie. And so they started working on a game similar to Daisy. Naked men running around everywhere, crafting clubs and bows. 
Now Dean Hall is working on a brand new survival game. There are no details going on at the moment. The only other game he's worked on since DayZ, obviously if you don't know he's the creator of DayZ, has been Stationeers, a kind of uh, Space Engineers, Astroneers style hybrid. It's pretty hardcore and it's definitely about factory building and really robotics and crafting and grabbing loads of ingredients and it's only on PC. He's been ramping up recruitment paying all sorts of money to get people to come to New Zealand and work on their new game for his new company, Rocketworks. Now, I say new company, it's been around a while, but this is what he went on to do when he left DayZ. He put this advertisement out to say, want to come and make the world's best survival game? Already at 10 plus working on it now, don't miss out. More jobs will be appearing here over coming weeks. And Gary Newman replied, already did it, mate. Now, this was a few months ago, but it tickled me. And it was top bant. Dean Hall replied, didn't finish Chunks though. Aye. Now Chunks is Gary Newman's one of his numerous side projects he's worked on in the past. And Gary Newman replied again, getting shit from Dean Hall for not finishing something. Famously, of course, Daisy was left by Dean Hall. And it pretty much delayed the game from actually coming out of full release for about three or four more years. In fact, when you think about Daisy appearing and actually coming out as 1.0, it's been around six years. Top bants from Gary Newman. Top bants. He doesn't take no shit either. He's been going after some clones that have been using Rust footage in their promotional trailers and basically in their gameplay. If you're feeling particularly spicy, you can attempt to have a little bit of bants of Gary Newman. Just be warned though, he is definitely up for that challenge. It's a huge year for Rust. Ever since they come out of early access, they've kept the updates coming. They've made their game the number one survival game on PC. It has more players playing it on a regular basis than Ark Survival Evolved, and that's number two. It's also sold nine million copies on PC. They've got vehicles, modular vehicles coming this year, and a whole bunch more. More changes to the landscape, newer features also coming in. So it's going to be a big year, and I'm going to start covering this more and more. So there we go guys, Rust won't be appearing until at least July. Who knows, that may change one day. As I said, I'll be the first person to let you know exactly what's going on with that release date. I'm hyped for it. It is coming to the Xbox One, it is coming to the PlayStation 4. You don't have to worry about them just deciding to switch a generation. They've said they're working on this port the best they can. They've got double 11 who are still hiring for people and stuff. So it will be coming, guys, on the current generation. And then you'll simply just be able to upgrade or they'll make it free if you want it on the next gen too. All right, that's what I reckon anyway. Keep up to date with all the survival news you need to know about the big games, the small ones, the new ones that are appearing. Make sure you subscribe, you've got a notification bell on. Come and join my Discord to keep up track with what's going on with my Rust server on PC, and I'll see you ratbags later.